we close our eyes when we meditate so that we can focus attention on our minds and not be distracted by things outside. Because we go through the, the day and everything outside pulls our attention. We have to be responsible for this, we have to be responsible for that. We see that this looks promising for some, a little bit of pleasure, that looks promising. The mind is constantly flowing out, flowing out. You might have to have some time to be by itself, to ex close your eyes and exercise some restraint. This is an important part of virtue to begin with, even before we close our eyes. It's learning to restrain yourself. No killing, no stealing, no illicit sex, no lying, no divisive speech, no harsh speech, no idle chatter. You don't give in to thoughts of greed that go beyond what you can rightly gain. You don't give in to thoughts of ill will. And you believe that your actions really do contribute to your happiness, or they can contribute to your pain if you're not careful. You stay away from the wrong view that says that it doesn't matter what you do, there are no consequences. So when you avoid these four, all these ten kinds of unskillful behavior, you're putting a fence around yourself. There are things you can't do. There are ways you could take advantage of other people by lying or whatever, but you don't. And there are times when other people can take advantage of you. They lie, but you have to tell the truth. But you say, okay, whatever I could have gained by lying, I'm not going to go for it. So you're putting a fence around the mind. When you come to meditate, you're putting a stronger fence. Anything outside of the body right now you don't want to think about. Let's think about the breath. Because the breath is a good mirror for the mind. When the breath is smooth and easy, the mind tends to be in a good mood. When it's tensed up, tight, restricted, okay, something's wrong. You want to look into it. And with your eyes closed, you're not distracted by things outside. You really can look into this relationship between your body and your mind and get a good grounding. Get to really know the mind well. Because after all, this is what causes our suffering in life, is we're ignorant of what we're doing. We're ignorant of our own minds. The thing you think would know best, we know least. So here's your chance to get to know this important element in your, in your life, because it's through the mind that you have your intentions, and from your intentions you act. So take some time to focus in on this part of your awareness. Let the world be for the time being. Because you've got bigger issues inside. We read the news and they tell us that's a big issue, this is a big issue, and yeah, they could, they could kill us someday. But we're going to die anyhow, we know. But we want to make sure that our goodness doesn't die. And that's not their responsibility, it's our responsibility. They can tell us what their issues are, but we have our issues that we have to take care of. Our own greed, our own aversion, our own delusion, that has to take top priority. So give the mind the time it deserves.